Good morning. Welcome to my first ever day in my life video. This is so highly requested alongside an apartment tour and why I sleep on the floor, all of which are coming eventually. And I never really wanted to do this video because I don't think that one day of my life can like truly represent my life because every single day for me is completely different and there are times where like my life looks super cool and glamorous and other times where it's like pretty mundane and i hang out in my pjs like all day long so there's like no no like consistency with my life if that makes any sense but i wanted to bring you along today so no this is not uh my life in a 10, 10 minute video, but instead it is today, which is Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. And bring you along some of the things that I'm doing today and just this lovely, it's kind of like a life admin day, I've decided. If you guys don't know, I am self-employed. I work for myself. So essentially I teach environmental education through digital platforms. So whether that's here on YouTube and social media and my own social media platforms, as well as I do work for other media platforms, platforms. So think like Facebook videos and Instagram content, as well as some for like eco-friendly related brands. So essentially I just make cool things, all of which are like under this umbrella of sustainability. I also have a part-time job. I get to work with kids. It's so much fun, but today I'm not working that job. I'm just kind of getting the stuff figured out. I'm like, I'm really behind on a lot of things. So today is that day of like catching up, especially on like life things like laundry. I might be looking real cute today because they're like, wow, she's, she's so dressed up. No, I, I'm, I'm literally out of clean clothes. So I'm wearing this like really cute dress today, which kind of reminded me that you don't need special occasions to look cute. You can look cute at home on a Wednesday. Uh, all right guys, if you guys are interested in my morning routine, I have a whole video describing what I do in the morning because we're just gonna jump right in. It's like 10 o'clock or something like that and we're gonna start my, my day and go from there. So if you wanna see my, my morning, I have read a book, I went on a run, I did meditation, I made some green smoothie thing. So yeah, it's pretty much very similar every single day so you can, you can just watch that video instead of wasting our time here. So I just finished some administrative work that I needed to get done and basically just email and invoices and your girl needs to get paid. So that was kind of what that was. And uh, I have a vocal lesson in an hour or so. So I'm thinking of actually going out to eat today because I don't have a lot of food and I don't really, don't really want to cook today. So right now and not today, but yeah, I think that's the game plan. So let's go. So for the longest time, I have told myself that I would possibly learn to sing and get a vocal instructor, mostly because I find that I, I put a lot of strain on my vocal cords and that I wanted to learn how to project in a way and how to breathe and, and, and all those little techniques that would help me because I do a lot of public speaking. However, I started taking vocal lessons and I realized, oh my God, I love singing and I want to sing. So that has been just like the really fun kind of adventure of taking vocal lessons. And I went to a jazz bar the other night and they actually invited me to come sing with them. So whenever I feel comfortable enough doing so, I get to sing with a full jazz band, which is, terrifying in front of a whole audience of course but kind of exciting so just a friendly reminder that you are not too old to try something new to put yourself out there to put yourself in a really uncomfortable situation and uh, for me that has been singing and so that's what I have at 1 p.m. so I'm gonna really quickly go through the music just so that I'm a little prepared for the class so I'm stopping to get some lunch at kind of like a fast food build your own bowl kind of place and the way I hack it is that the bowls they use inside the restaurant are compostable they don't compost but they are compostable but the bowls they use 
for to go it's like a plastic clamshell so I'll actually order it for here and then walk out with it and then I'll take it home I'll eat it normally outside at the park and then I will take it home and compost it I'll cut it up into tiny little pieces and put it inside my own personal compost ideally that restaurant would allow me to use my own bowl or container however it is so busy and they have such a like streamlined way to do things that they're, that's never gonna happen Part of me wishes I had kind of more exciting things to share. So I've been sitting here editing for the last three hours, three and a half hours. It's six, it's 6.23 and I'm nowhere near finishing the project that I'm working on. So we're just gonna call it a day for today and kind of start a little bit more of my personal life. Do I have a personal life? Probably not. Um, I am gonna go on a run. I went on a run this morning. However, I'm a runner now, just like I'm a singer. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I decided that um, I wanted to do something for my health because, sorry, it's like really hot, so if I'm sweating, <laughs> because the AC is off and it's that time of day where the light like beams into the apartment. But a few weeks ago I kind of had this moment where I wanted to start something for my health and a lot of people in my life are currently running like half marathons and doing this stuff so I was like you know what I can do that. Um, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna do it. I've never been consistent with my health. I am a healthy human. I take the stairs instead of the elevator, even if it's six, 14 flights, whatever, that's what I used to do. I, I walk to work, like things like that. And, but I've never been consistent with like the gym. I've never been consistent with, with like getting fit or goal. And so I thought like, I'm gonna try the running thing. I don't like running, I hate running, but I decided to explore it. And so it's been a month and I've been consistently running at least a mile, at least five days, for the last four weeks so I ran a mile this morning and then I walked probably like half a mile back and so tonight I'm gonna go see if I can run another mile that way I, I logged two miles today even if they weren't consistent and probably just work on some other things that I have outside of this fun stuff so that's that's pretty much it I wish I had like a glamorous thing like an event or something to share with you but I, I don't um mostly I spend a lot of time working on myself and working for myself allows me that freedom and flexibility to do things that are a little bit out there like vocal lessons and running and and really this year it's about pushing myself and pushing my limits and learning kind of that mental toughness because Y'all, life is hard <laughs> and things are always going to be hard. So learning how to be consistent and show up and try new things and put yourself in uncomfortable situations in the end, uh, hopefully has a really good lesson, which is, uh, <laughs> I think, kind of what I'm going towards. I hope this kind of showed you that you can try something new you can take something on and it doesn't have to be your whole life you can still work your nine to five but taking on these little passion projects on the side could be really helpful so that's where i'm going to leave you for now i'm hot i'm sweaty i'm like gross but i'm, I'm gonna finish this edit and then check back in with you